welcome student on target of e study channel in this lecture i will complete 20 mcq question and explanation the first question is the bjt was invented by first option wh britain second pardin third william shockley and fourth one is all of the above we know that bjt means bipolar junction transistor and this transistor invented by wh britain bardeen and william shockley so the correct option is d all of the above the next question is in a bjt first option the base region is sandwiched between emitter and collector second the collector is sandwiched between base and emitter third the emitter region is sandwiched between base and collector and last one is none of the above this is the structure of bjt first region is emitter middle one is base and last is collector emitter is heavily doped and mod moderate in size base is lightly doped and small in size collector moderate in doped and large in size so the middle region is sandwiched between the middle base region is sandwiched between emitter and collector so the first option is correct the next question is which transistor region is very thin and lightly doped in last question in second question we learn middle region this is a base region and this region is lightly doped and thin or small in size so the correct option is the base region the next question is in npn transistor the majority carriers in the base are in figure it shows that npn structure of npn transistor middle one is base and this is a p type so p type means the uh, trivalent impurity is added when we add trivalent impurity then there is majority is holes so the correct option is holes the next question is bjt is first voltage control device second current control device third power control device and last one is none of the above and the correct option is bjt is current control device the next question is a bjt has first option one junction second op option two junction third option three junction last option no pn junction in bjt there are two junction first emitter base junction and second collector base junction so the correct option is second two junction the next question is which of the following is true for a pnp transistor in saturation region first option emitter base junction forward bias and collector base junction reverse bias second option emitter junction is forward bias and collector base junction is forward bias third junction bow junction are reverse bias and last option is emitter base is reverse bias and collector base is forward bias so in saturation region maximum or large amount of current are flows when transistor works in saturation region it acts like a on switch in this region bow junction are forward bias so the correct option is b emitter base and collector base are forward the next question is which of the following is true for a pnp transistor in active region first option 
emitter base forward bias and collector base reverse bias second option both are forward bias third option both are reverse bias and last option is emitter base reverse bias and collector base forward bias in active region transistor acts like a amplifier and signal is amplified when it transfer from low resistance to high resistance so first junction is first junction have a low resistance when it forward bias and second junction is reverse bias when it has a high resistance so the when current transfer from low resistance to high resistance then this acts like a amplifier amplifier transistor works in amplifier when it active region when works in a active region so the correct option is emitter base is forward bias and collector base is reverse bias the next question is which of the following is a not a part of a bjt first base second collector third emitter and fourth one is none bjt have a three region emitter base and collector so all three uh, regions are correct are part of bjt so the last option is a not part a of bjt so the correct option is d the next question is in which of the following modes can a bjt be used first cut off mode second active mode third saturation mode and last one is all of the above when bjt works in cut off mode it acts like a open switch when bjt works in a saturation mode then it acts as a on switch and when bjt works in a active mode then it as a amplifier so uh, all three are the correct modes so the last option d all of the above is the correct answer the next question if a bjt is to be used as an amplifier then it must operate in first cut off mode second active mode third saturation mode last all of the above and we know that in active mode transistor used as a amplifier so the correct option is b the next question the arrow in the symbol of a transistor in the symbol of a transistor indicates the direction of option electron current in the emitter electron current in the collector third hole current in the emitter and last donor ions current and the correct option is hole current in the emitter there are two transistor one is pnp and other is enpn arrow is located on emitter terminal and this arrow indicate the direction of conventional current and we know that conventional current is always flow from positive to negative and this is the direction of hole so hole current in the emitter this is a correct option the next question in a transistor there are four four option ic is equal to ie plus ib second ib is equal to ic plus ie third ie is equal to ic minus ib and last one is ie is equal to ic plus ib in a transistor emitter region emits the emits the charge and this charge collects at a collector and few charge are recombined with holes so the total current which emitted from the emitter region 
i e is equal to sum of base current and collector current so the correct option is i e is equal to i c plus i b the next question is the value of alpha of a transistor is alpha is a current gain of cb configuration so the correct option is less than 1 the next question the output impedance of a transistor is and the correct option is high high output impedance means output junction is reverse bias the next question is the value beta for a transistor is generally and the correct option is between 20 and 500 beta means current gain of a transistor in ce configuration the next question is if the value of beta is 99 then alpha is there is a formula relation between alpha and beta is alpha is equal to beta divided by 1 plus beta and we know that beta so put the value of beta so alpha is equal to 99 divided by 1 plus 99 so alpha is equal to 0 0.99 and the correct option is c the next question is in a transistor signal is transferred from a dash dash circuit Transistor in active mode works as a amplifier and in active mode first junction is forward bias and last junction second junction is reverse bias. So in forward bias there is low resistance and in reverse bias there is a high resistance. So the signal is transferred from low resistance to high resistance. So the correct option is B low resistance to a high resistance the next question the correct relation between transistor of parameter alpha and beta are related by we know that in transistor emitter current is equal to sum of base current and collector current so from this relation IE is equal to IB plus IC. So this equation divided by IC. Then we get IE divided by IC is equal to IB divided by IC plus IC divided by IC. And we know that alpha is equal to IC divided by IE. So put the value of alpha. There is a reciprocal i divided by ic but alpha means i divided by i so take the reciprocal 1 divided by alpha is equal to we know that beta ic divided by ib so this is uh, there is a reciprocal of beta so put the value of beta 1 divided by beta plus ic ic get cancel so plus 1 by cross multiplication the relation we get relation alpha is equal to beta divided by 1 plus beta so the correct option is d the last question is in a transistor ic is equal to 2 milliampere and ib is equal to 100 microampere the value of beta is so beta is equal to ic divided by ib by dividing 2 milliampere by 100 microampere is converted into 0.1 milliampere so after dividing beta is equal to 20 so the correct option is 20 please like and subscribe